spell. My name is Dishan. Okay. My name is Zishan Asan. I am the tutor of performance management and I also do teach other papers of ACCA. Okay, so performance management, as you know, it is the advanced paper of F2 financial uh, management. Okay, uh, I, uh, one of the participant of this session, you can't hear anything, please. Uh, guide them to unmute their mic. Okay, so my name is Vishan Asan. I am the tutor of performance management and I've been teaching to the ACCA students from uh, ACCA students from last 13 plus years now. And in this 13 years, uh, my various students got uh, positions of, of uh, the worldwide and nationwide positions and in, including performance management and other examinations. In this uh, uh, year, in 2022, my six students got uh, Middle East distinctions in Palestine, Lebanon, and other uh, Middle East countries from the ACC papers, financial reporting, SBL and advanced performance management. That is the advanced paper of this paper, performance management F5. Okay, so before I start with the session, well, if you guys have any question, you can ask me in the chat box. Okay, do, do not uh, speak uh, during to the session. One thing, second thing, LMS also the free uh, sessions the demo lessons will be available on my on our Facebook page as well uh, one uh, okay and so recordings will be available on my on our Facebook page and YouTube channel as well okay um, now let us start uh with the top uh, uh the uh, the introduction of performance management as i told you guys this this is the advanced paper of f uh, f2 management accounting performance management okay um if you think this paper is totally uh theoretical that's wrong if you think this paper is totally uh calculation based that's wrong it is a mixture of both right so what are the topics firstly we will have activity based costing activity based costing is a new topic you uh, studied about activity based costing a little bit in your previous studies of f2 but not in detail so in detail you will learn about it in this f5 performance management pm paper um, it is the advanced technique of uh, you know, it is the advanced technique of uh, overhead uh, counting, costing. Then we have target costing, right? Uh, previously, in our studies, you, uh, we learned about no. cost, plus, cost plus pricing, right? So here, what uh, it is, the, again, it is the advanced uh, technique of that target costing. Then... We have next topic. Oh. We have next to topic that is life cycle costing. Life cycle costing will consider uh, the costing of whole product. It will uh, consider the costing of whole paper. Please unmute your mic. Someone mic is not mute. It was just even as low as it is. It depends on whether it's Torin or it's real. Yeah, Torin. Oh, but Torin is sweet. Torin is the highest way. Then then, please unmute your mic. Or uh, mute yes. your mic. Sorry. Torin Guys, is mute, mute your mic. Mute your mic, please. Uh, it's disturbing. Yeah. 
So um, lives after life cycles costing again we will uh, learn the another advanced technique through port accounting. Previously we learned that uh, uh, about you know uh, sales less uh, variable cost and variable cost. What we learned before material and labor. Uh, now the throughput accounting says that labor cost is also a fixed cost. So uh, that what is throughput cost? Uh, sales minus material cost. So we will learn about it throughput accounting in detail. Then we will learn the environmental costing. Right straight after this five chapters, we will move to the exam kits where we will practice MCQs and long uh, descriptive questions. Then we will move to the CVP analysis cost volume for profit analysis uh, area planning with limiting factors. Okay. Uh, then we will move to the section C and section A and B questions. That is MCQs and long descriptive questions. Then we have relevant costing. The, nothing new in it. <laughs> it is same as, you know, um, that we uh, learn in the F2 management accounting. Then we have new area risk and uncertainty. So risk and uncertainty is another area, um, which is a new thing. What is risk? How it can be minimized? What are the uncertainty scenarios? What are the techniques to minimize them? We will learn in it. Okay. Then we have new uh, another area, which is uh, budgeting. Okay. So in budgeting, what is budgeting? Why budgeting is needed? how it can be helpful, the types of budgeting. We learn all of those techniques in it. Then we will move to the other area, which is quantitative analysis. So what is quantitative analysis and it techniques? We will learn it. Then advanced variances. We will learn some more variances. The previous variances, which we learned in uh, management accounting and some advanced variances as well. Uh, then performance management and control is the new area. And, uh, mute your mic, please. Mute your mic. Oh, my God. Mute your mic, please. Uh, Jonathan, please mute your mic. Okay. Yes. Please mute your mic. Okay, let me. Let me get some earphones here. Yeah. Then, uh, I think I have to mute them. Okay. Yeah. So so uh sorry for the interruption, folks. Then uh ad after advanced variances, this, this is performance measurement and control div divisional performance measurement and try transfer pricing. Uh, performance management for not-for-profit organization and performance management information system. These areas will be done. It's all on basis on performance management. And that's the, uh, you know, the post part of performance management. Now, what we will do, we will do some chapters. Then we will move to the exam kit over section A and section B parts and section C parts. Okay, now what is the exam format? As you know, this paper is computer-based examination, which you will be doing on the examination software, which is consist, uh, similar to Microsoft Word and uh, Excel, right? And section C questions will be similar to the software, which is similar to the Excel. Now, section A questions will consist of 30 marks, 15 MCQ questions, multi-task uh, questions, two marks each right that is those can be filling the blanks true false uh, mcqs whatever it is right then we will have section b 30 marks uh overall three questions which will have five uh questions uh, each uh question will have each 
डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन है फाइव रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड दोज कैन बी एम सी क्यूज फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स क्रॉसिंग वेज क्वेश्चन राइट सो सिक्सटी मार्क्स लाइक दैट नो लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन विल बी कवर्ड इन सेक्शन सी विच विल कवर योर फोर्टी मार्क्स राइट टू क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन विल बी डेफिनेटली फ्रॉम द लास्ट सेक्शन ऑफ द कोर्स दैट इज सेक्शन सी um performance measurement and one question can be from anywhere in the course right uh, so far so good folks i hope uh if you have if any questions you can ask me and one more thing uh, i'm using the free version of zoom right so it has 40 to 45 minutes limit in it after that this uh, session will uh, be uh, over automatically but you all have the link of the session so you can join uh, after this session will be over you can use the same link again and join this uh, session uh, the class again right i will remind you uh, once the uh, it's about to end this session is about to end so now if you guys have any question do let me know uh, we will be moving to the our first topic that is activity based costing so uh, till then if you guys ha have any questions uh, you can ask i'm stopping here a bit and you can ask your questions if you have any now we are starting the first area of uh, activity based uh, of uh, performance management that is activity based costing right so what, firstly we need to know uh, the reasons for the development of abc that is activity based costing absorption costing you know which we covered in our previous exams of uh, management accounting ma uh, is based on the principle that production overheads are driven by the level of production so this is uh, this is because the activity level in the overhead absorption rate calculation can be units labor Hours or machine hours, so these all increases as the level of production increases. Well, this was uh, true in the past because you know uh, businesses only produce one simple product or a few simple uh, and similar products. But now, following uh, points need to be remember. Number one, overheads used to be uh, small in relation to other costs in traditional manufacturing. Additionally, production overhead such as machine depreciation will have been a small proportion of overall cost. This is because production was more labor intensive, and as a result, direct cost would have been much higher than in indirect cost. A rough uh, estimate of the production overhead per unit was was therefore fine. The number two point uh, overheads. are now a larger proportion of total cost in modern manufacturing you know manufacturing has become more machine intensive and as a result the proportion of uh, uh, production overheads compared to the direct cost has increased therefore it is important that an accurate estimate is made of the production overhead per unit number 3 the nature of the manufacturing has changed you know many companies must now operate in a highly competitive environment and as a result the diversity and the complexity of the products has increased um so uh if you have any questions still here you guys can ask me so uh, now let us compare uh, abc uh, activity based costing with traditional method okay um you know the traditional systems measure accurately volume related resources that are consumed in proportion to the number of units produced of the individual products such as direct materials or direct labor energy or the machine related cost but uh, you know however many organizational resources exist for activities that are unrelated to physical volume you know non volume related activities uh, such as materials handling material procurement setups production scheduling uh, first item inspection activities 
so traditional uh, cost systems which assume that product consume all activities in proportion to their production volumes thus report distorted product cost though both traditional absorption uh, absorption and activity based costing system adopt two stage allocation process the difference can be uh, listed as follows as you can see um, number 1 uh overhead allocation abc establishes separate cost pools for support activities such as material handling cost of these activities are assigned directly to the product through cost driver rates reapportionment of service department cost is avoided right uh, whereas traditional costing uh considers only these points traditional costing such as service department production department product line uh, it considers this sort of things only whereas abc considers activity cost rules and then product lines number two thing is uh, overhead absorption overhead absorption into products is where the main difference lies between abc and traditional costing traditional absorption costing uses two absorption basis labor hours or machine hours to charge overhead to products whereas abc uses many cost drivers as absorption base example number of orders number of dispatches the use of uh, then number 3 the use of cost drivers you know cost drivers is the main idea behind abc as they highlight what causes cost to increase for example the number of orders to suppliers each product incurs overheads that do not vary with volume or output but the some other activity should be traced to product using abc cost drivers so traditional absorption costing on the other hand allows overheads to be related products in more arbitrary ways therefore products less accurate product cost right um so far so good uh if you guys have any question till here you can ask me uh then we will continue